We are on the hunt for a place to start our homestead in Newfoundland. We're looking into all the options, from raw land to a fixer-upper cabin in the woods. What we're looking for is more of a feeling than a destination. This place will become our forever homestead for generations to come. This is the Someday series, where we live every day intentionally like it's our someday. We're taking our search back to the southern shore, here on the Avalon. For those from away, it's along the east coast of the island of Newfoundland. The southern shore hosts epic, rugged coastlines, and many small towns within close proximity to St. John's. This cabin is on leased land, or crown land, which is a common way Newfoundlanders build their camps or cabins. It costs $200 a year to lease, with the potential to purchase later on. This one is very private, but not too far from the main road. It's the only one on this pond currently and has been built beautifully. If you carry on south, you will find the Irish Loop, which guides you through barren lands and beautiful tiny coastal towns with countless beaches and wildlife to witness. We've had some time now to see quite a few options in person. It's given us space to brainstorm, talk, and really dial in what we want. So what are we looking for exactly? Number one, we do not in any way want to go into debt. We will take steps slowly build as we can afford, repurpose or reuse any materials that we can find. Number two, self-sustainability. This one will take a long time, but every step we take to grow or raise our own will be one step closer. I'm sure we've all felt the pain of inflation lately. It's gotten to the point that I feel very stressed and anxious going to the store. Not only do I hate depending on large-scale companies, but the products available are all highly processed, less nutrient-dense, 
and take many unnecessary resources away from the planet as they are produced and delivered. The Earth is struggling, as are we. Our bodies deserve better. The planet deserves better. Let's take our food system back. Let's work together to grow it, share it, barter it, forage for it, or buy locally. You don't need to have a green thumb to feed yourself. There's many ways. On our land, I plan to use permaculture methods. Create a food forest, build many garden beds, and a greenhouse that I hope to use year-round. I want to start with raising chickens for egg production, meat and pest control, then expand to goats for their milk and cheese. They will also be excellent yoga buddies, I think. Alpacas for their magnificently warm fibers, with an entertainment bonus. Then who knows, our experiences will guide us. Either way, having potential pasture for our animals will save us money in the long run, not having to purchase as much hay or feed. I know we could do a lot with a little bit of land, but I really would like the option of having that extra pasture space in the future to allow us to be more sustainable in the long run. Number three, privacy. We want to be immersed in the sounds of nature not a nearby road or town or flight path. We love being remote, as you probably noticed if you've watched this channel for some time. Remote, but somewhat accessible, as we do have young children. For safety and community, we would like amenities to be within an hour away. Number four, water. We need it to survive. We enjoy it for the views and serenity it provides. We have to keep in mind the cost of digging a well, water testing, and harsh climates surrounding coastal areas. These are four points that I'm really focusing on. Shelter is obviously a huge factor, but I'm going back and forth on whether we want to build or buy something existing. Financially, this falls into the staying debt-free part we'll have to weigh out the options. How are we going to make money, you ask? I have a lot of ideas to make money on the homestead. They may work, they may not. We need many alternative options to fund this future and stay debt-free. We both have seasonal or casual jobs that we can come back to when needed. And we are going to live frugally and simply, focusing on the basic necessities. Homesteading takes risk and sacrifice. There will be hard times ahead. I welcome them. Humans were built for hard things. It's how we find purpose. And the reward internally will be tenfold. You. This shed sits on 1.3 acres and is priced at 40000 It's only 25 minutes from St. John's. Feels fairly private. There are neighbors, but none that can be seen easily. Something like this could be ideal for us. Having a small space already cleared, somewhere to store tools or stay while we clear and build more infrastructure. The right one for us is out there. I just hope we find it soon.